Hey y'all, it's your girl LaCrosse and I'm back with another video and in today's video I'm going to show you how I lay my edges comb method versus the brush method. Um, I just washed my hair last night and I actually slept with the deep conditioner in overnight so that's why my hair looks like that. But yeah, I think it looks nice, you know, but it'll look even better if I slay these edges. So let's get right to it. So first I'm going to start off by using my toothbrush. Don't mind the discoloration. Me and the toothbrush been through a lot. And for my styler, I'm going to be using my Eco Styler Gel. I actually like that one for my edges because it has a great hold. The only thing I don't like about it is the, what can I say, the product buildup or the flakiness. That's the only thing I don't like. But other than that, it's a great hold. Okay, so I just put a little bit of Eco Styler Gel on the toothbrush. And now I'm about to get to work. And when doing my edges, I actually like to start from the bottom. And I like to take my finger and use that as a guide because I feel like I get a better swoop for some reason. And it always turns out better. So that's how I like to do it. And disclaimer, I am no professional <laughs> at all. So you will see me go over my edges multiple times just to get them to my liking. Okay, this right here is my favorite part. That's like the middle or my widow's peak. I feel like that just sets the whole look. Like that's my favorite part of my hair to actually, you know, lay down. See, I told y'all I will go back and fix it because I wanted to look a certain way. And every time I do like a different part, it always messed the other part up. So yeah, I'm quick to go back and fix that. I actually love how it looks. I have gotten so much better with time because when I had my long hair, I did not do a good job. Now to start on the other side, I'm basically gonna be doing the same technique that I did on the other side. Oh yeah, and every time y'all see me bend down, that's just me getting more gel for my edges. Nothing deep. <laughs> and I didn't want to fast forward through any of this or, you know, edit anything out because I wanted y'all to see exactly what I go through. Like, I'm not perfect and I'm not professional, so I'm not going to get it right the first time I try to lay it down. So yeah, this is the real deal right here. Okay, so these are the final results for the toothbrush method. Um, I like it. I feel like it was room for improvement, which I probably will end up doing on here. But um, yeah, I like it. Oh yeah, there I go. I found a piece that was messed up. So yeah, I always make sure I fix what I don't like. But yeah, that's the end result. So now we are on to the comb method. Okay, so I tried to get the gel out as much as I can so I can start fresh. But yeah, so here's how it's looking right now. So now I'm about to get into it with the comb. I actually like to dip the comb into the gel versus like putting gel on my edges and then doing it like that. So that's what you see me doing right now. So I used a little bit, like not too much and not too little, so I can try to work with as much as I can without having to dip the comb back in the gel. And as usual, like I said, I like to start from the bottom for some reason. And one thing I like about the comb is that I don't have to use my finger too much to swoop because it already gives me that swoop. So um, you'll see me do it a couple of times, but for the most part, I didn't really have to use my fingers. And it looks so detailed. That's one thing I like about the comb. It looks so detailed and neat. I 
I definitely love how it turns out in the middle because it actually drags it down the way I want it to without having to use my finger. When the with the toothbrush, I have to like try harder, use my finger and try to swoop it down. It's like, it's a pain, but the comb is just like so much easier. Okay, so on this side, I didn't really start with the bottom like I like to, but um, I think the results still came out the same. Okay, so this is the final results for the comb method. Um, you might see a little white residue, only because I have a little bit of leave-in conditioner in my hair, and I guess the two didn't mix well. And normally I dab it down with the tissue or washcloth, and I didn't do that this time. Okay, so one last look for the toothbrush method. And one last look at the comb method. All right, y'all, so this concludes the video. I really love the way it turned out with the comb method. Let me know which one was y'all favorite, and let me know what products and, you know, styling method y'all have. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Also, add me on Instagram, and I shall see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.